So he is a COVID puppy, essentially. Mm. He hasn't seen anyone. He hasn't been able to smell anyone else's bottoms. So, you know, like dogs, we need to integrate him into society. So we took him to London uh, for the first time ever. Now, I drove to London because I refused to get public transport in a time no, of a... that wasn't why. It's because we couldn't get a car seat for any other car as well. We were supposed to hire like a taxi or a car and they were like, because of COVID, we can't give you a car seat. That's correct. Yeah. That is, that's how it happened. And then we got to London and we opened the door and I was like, why does it smell like scabby bum hole? And Rosie was like, well, that's a city for you. And I was like, you're right. That's its charm. But it was hard for me to leave him because um, one, he always cries at my brother for no reason. I don't know why. So when I left him to go do my job, he w- I left him crying and mm. I was like, oh, he wouldn't feed and I couldn't pump that much for some reason. So... Do you reckon you dried up with nerves? Don't go to the bad place, Rosie. Don't spiral. So how did you feel leaving him alone for five hours while you did your job as an influencer? I hated it because while I was doing my job, so I loved we, it. we were on a shoot, we were being filmed and I gave my phone to someone else so I didn't have my phone on on me in the shoot. And... Oh, and every five minutes, because we were getting filmed, every five minutes she was like, is the baby okay? And I was like, I don't know, he hasn't called me. So I got a super king or I got a king at the hotel um, and I was going to sleep with Ziggy on the bed and Rose and I was like, look, we can all sleep together, it'll be great. Right. It was it was a nightmare. It was awful because this king size hotel bed had a really soft, spongy upper layer, which we had to peel back because that's not safe to make it as 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 firm as possible for this mattress to be. And And then then it had a gap, and it had a gap because it was two singles, which is dangerous, pushed together. So Rosie slept in this gap. Ziggy slept all the way through, absolutely fine. Yeah. I didn't sleep a wink. We just like, couldn't sleep. I was like, I've got to get up early. It's always the way. When I've got to get up early for a shoot or a job, I cannot sleep because I'm literally monitoring how many minutes I have left. And I'm like, oh, there's so much pressure. Yeah, we had a bad night. It we was bad. bad. It was bad. Mm. But the lobster mac and cheese room service made up for it quite considerably. Yeah. I enjoyed my um, half-baked cookie and ice cream. Which you ate first because the ice cream came you and started, ate it first started to melt and you're you are such a i eat dessert before my main meal kind of person yeah i like you know what think outside the box and be creative who decided rules who decided <laughs> dinner was first that's interesting because in another episode i'm going to be discussing this because what? they say to give sweets to children while they eat their main they say to give dessert so dessert right. and main together you're pissing me off and let me tell you why you always, I don't invent these no, things. No, hold on. You always come at me with a fact and you say, they say this and they say that. Mm-hmm. Or, Rose, do you know, they say this and really they say that. And I'm like, who the fuck is they? But we did this last night, right? I was like, oh, they say blah, blah, blah about eating solids. And Rose was like, who is they? And I said, well, it's the NHS. And then you had nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, so no, I'm like, well, problem? fine then. That's it's normally right, then. the NHS or the Amer- American Academy of Pediatrics. Right, and I've noticed that they What's always problem? those two always disagree with each other. Well, yeah, because they're two then, different. Yeah, and then as a reader, I'm left thinking, great, what a conundrum. Who do I go with? Exactly, that, that's parenting. Oh, is it? Now you're telling me what parenting is. <laughs> Oh, I am excited to reconnect with you though when we when we soon sleep in the same nest together. Are you excited? I miss, yeah, I do miss you at night because at night time I have all of my like that's when my mental health is poor and I'm like, oh, all these thoughts just flood my brain like have I done this have I done that that needs doing that needs doing what if this happens what if that happens and I can't just talk to you about it so I just talk to my brain and my brain talks to itself and then I'm like am I going crazy is that parenting (laughs) I want you to guess how much private school from the age of three to 18 costs on average do you think it varies it might vary it might vary we'll do some investigating have a guess and I will tell you at the end of the episode um but yeah unreal (laughs) 